The Desert by Matilda Blind, read for LibriVox.org by Anna Roberts. Uncircumscribed, unmeasured, vast, eternal as the sea, what lacks the tidal sea thou hast, profound stability. Beneath the sun that burns and brands in hush noon's halting breath, calm as the sphinx upon thy sands thou art, nay, calm as death. The desert foxes hide in holes, the jackal seeks his lair, the sombre rocks like reddening coals grow lurid in the glare. Only some vulture far away, bald-headed, harpy-eyed, flaps down on lazy wing to prey on what has lately died. No palm-tree lifts a lonely shade, no dove is on the wing. It seems a land which nature made without a living thing, or wreckage of some older world, ere children grew, or flowers, when rocks and hissing stones were hurled in hot volcanic showers. The solemn blue bends over all. Far as winged thought may flee, roll ridges of black mountain wall, and flat sands like the sea. No trace of footsteps is to be seen, no tent, no smoking roof, Nay, even the vagrant Basharin keeps warily aloof. But yon, mid tumbled hillocks prone, some human form I scan, a human form indeed but stone, a cold colossal man. How came he here mid piling sands, like some huge cliff, enisled, Osiris wise with folded hands, mute spirit of the wild? Ages ago the hands that hewed, and in the living rock carved this colossus, granite food, and curled each crispy lock. Ages ago have dropped to rest, and left him passive, prone, forgotten on earth's barren breast, half statue and half stone. And Persia ruled, and Palestine, and o'er her violet seas arose with marble gods divine the grace of godlike Greece. And Rome, the mistress of the world, amid her diadem of eastern empires set impearled the scarab's mystic gem. Perchance he has been lying here since first the world began, poor titan of some earlier sphere of prehistoric man, to whom we are as idle flies that fuss and buzz their day, while still immutable he lies, as long ago he lay. Empurpled in the afterglow, thou with the sun alone, of all the stormy waste below art king, but king of stone, uncircumscribed, unmeasured, vast, eternal as the sea, the present here becomes the past for all futurity. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.